Right, afternoon everyone. So I've been getting a few questions around my uh, Spanish split wings uh, for this weekend. So I thought I'd tie one up quickly for you. Uh, just to give you a rundown, I've basically just tied some 18 and 0 gauge nano silk onto a size 16 fully mull hook. I've tied a coctillion tail in. I've made it quite a bushy tail. I prefer to have a bushy tail on these dry flies. You'll see that the body is not a CDC body. You can do a CDC body. I'm quite happy on these four feather split wings that there's so much CDC on the wing, you don't particularly need anything on the body. Also, don't mind if the hook and the body sinks a little bit so that it's not overly buoyant on the water. So I'm just coloring in the body here with a brown Sharpie. I'm gonna build a little bit of a taper on the fly going forward. Um, Oh, and this fly doesn't need to be a crazy taper, so I just like a little bit more body up front, just so that it's aesthetically pleasing. And then from here, I'm going to quickly just put a whip finish in so that we know this body's not going anywhere, which now we know it's not. Then I've picked up some of my Trout Hunter CDC Natural Color Feathers. Um, I'm going to take four of them because I'm going to make a four feather split wing and I'm going to stack them one on top of each other with their points right at the top so that they're evenly stacked. Something like that works pretty well. And once you've got them stacked nicely, then I just like to brush them down just like that. So you've got quite a lot of fluff coming through there. Um, and that's going to give you a really, really nice wing. Uh, I tend to think that uh, on a size 16, that's about enough wing to fish. From there, I'm just going to flip this around so I can tie it on properly. Let me just show you one last time. It's a nice wing there. They're going to pinch it in nice and tight so it doesn't move with the nano silk onto the hook. Let's see if we can get this right first time for you all. So place it down, pinch it in one, pinch it in two, just to be safe, let's put a third one. Just give a couple of turns so it doesn't move anywhere. And that looks pretty damn good. You wanna leave a little bit of space at the front uh, for a couple of reasons. I'm gonna put a sighter in here, one. Um, and secondly, you also wanna just be able to close the fly off when you use your thread at the end so that you don't get stuck with a hook eye that you can't put the line through. So I'm just gonna snip that off. We'll use the remaining CDC there just to create a little bit of a thorax. From here, I'm gonna use my orange hotspot glow bright, nice and bright. I'm gonna use this for a sighter on the fly. So what I typically do is I'm going to fold this over a few times uh, just so that it gives a little bit of a, a little bit more body to that sighter, something like that. Pretty simple. And keep that aside now that I've got it ready because I need to split this. So you're going to pull your wing case back, bring the thread up front, tie in a few turns so you can hold it back. And then you're going to look for the split. So what I like to do I like to use a pair of scissors, somewhere down the middle, create a split on the wing, and then pull the two apart gently. Uh, you'll know pretty quickly if you've got the wing case even, um, and in this case it looks like it's nice and even. And then what you're going to do is you're going to wrap a few turns around each wing case to make sure that it's held in spot and doesn't move which is exactly what I'm doing right now. And then every time you split the wing, just bring it back to the front, and build the front piece so that you've got a nice nose on your fly and you can get the line through nice and easy. I think that's done exactly the trick. I've got a nice split on the wing now. From there, what I'm gonna do is probably just put a little whip finish knot in front. I don't want any of my hard work going to waste. So I'll just pull some of this feather back. Just put a quick three turns in. Tie it up front. That way I know nothing can come undone. 
So I go back to my hotspot thread. I think it's quite important to have this little hotspot tied into your, your Spanish split wing. It's going to give you a nice, nice sighter if you get it right. So you lay that over the middle of the body between the two wings. It'll just ensure that the split is proper. And you just tie it in. One, two, three little pinch knots. Ooh, that's causing a bit of havoc. Apologies for that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to thin the thread a little bit. I've got one less turn. So we'll just go with a double fold over instead of a triple fold over. So one, two. I think there was just a little bit too much body there. That's better. Again, put it between the two. Let's tie it in. There we go, much better. And once you've got it in, you want to fold it back on itself and tie the nose down so that the thread is held nicely back, just like that. And put a little finish in here. Brilliant. Right, now bring the thread forward so you can pull the feather back. Just bring the thread piece forward. A little bit like that. Just chop it off. And that's exactly what you're looking for. Uh, then all I would do, take a bit of brown koki, black koki, depending what you want your nose to be. I like to follow what I've done on the rest of the fly. Pull all the feathers back and out the way. Just put a few whip finishes right on the nose. Make sure you just create a nice finish on the fly. Do one more. Cut this off, pull this back, get rid of some of the excess pieces, there are a few excess pieces, brush my wings up nicely, there we go, you've got a very nice Spanish split wing from the front.